I'm Nick Hoyt with Chesapeake and Mid-Atlantic Marketing. I want to introduce you today to some very compelling technology from Orion Power Systems. And what we're demonstrating here, I want to tell you about, is the difference between their true online RTRTX uh, UPS system versus the industry standard line interactive UPS. What we see here is the true online method of providing UPS. This is what we call a double conversion method. We have 120 volts AC coming into our UPS. It converts it from AC to DC and double conversion back from DC to AC for our 120 volts AC. While it's doing that, in parallel, we have a battery. The benefit of this, that it's wired in parallel, if at any time we lose our 120 volt power input source, the pa battery parallel immediately provides power. There is no loss or uh, <clears throat> of power. So it, it is, there's a plus or minus 1% output voltage uh, differential. In comparison, we have the line interactive UPS. In this method of providing UPS power, we have 120 volts AC coming into our transformer and it is providing 120 volts AC out. If you notice, there's a switch here for our battery and this is what we call a tap switching transformer. When it receives, when we lose power, there's a switch that occurs that brings our battery into play. So there is a plus or minus 10% output voltage regulation. So this is a far superior method of providing power and not losing any uh, power when we switch to battery. By contrast with the tap switching transformer method of a line interactive UPS. So now we want to demonstrate the difference between the, the Orion Power Systems true online RTX, RT or RTX UPS versus the, uh, the line interactive UPS. What we have here is our true online UPS. We also have a voltage regulator, which is going to simulate a change in input voltage from the grid. That could be either a brownout or a complete loss of power. And we also have a light bulb connected to our, our true online UPS to demonstrate how power gets continued to, to be provided. So as I turn the voltage regulator down, you will notice on the display that I've dropped the power down to, oh, say, uh, uh, 60 volts AC. There's no change in my light bulb. This would be a brownout. I've reduced power. I'm still providing the 120 volts AC output. I can even go farther and have a true power failure from the grid by turning this off. As you will see, continuous power to the light bulb. There is no flicker, no delay, uh, continues to provide source to that. By contrast, you'll notice some shortcomings with the line interactive UPS, which I'm going to demonstrate right now. We have our line interactive UPS hooked up to our, our power regulator. And you'll notice now when I reduce power, the battery comes on almost immediately. There's a flicker with the light as we have that battery change, and you can now tell by the beeping that the battery is on. Did not occur with our online UPS. Also, when I turn, I uh, can bring that voltage back up. Battery goes off, light flickers again. Now if I do a true loss of power from the grid, again, light flickers, there's a switch, that's that uh, uh, tap, tap switching transformer going into effect, and the battery is on now. So light flickers battery is on. So that is a little shortcoming and the difference is we wanted to demonstrate between the true online UPS and some of the shortcomings of a line interactive UPS.